welcome back to my channel. My name is Maggie. This is going to be my intro for Q2 Project Use It Up. Uh, for me, Project Use It Up is a non-makeup uh, style of project panning. So I have different hair care, uh, skin care, body care products here in front of me that I'm going to be focusing on for the next quarter. Um, I just finished up Q1, so I will link that video if you are interested. I really like doing these quarterly just because it helps me um, kind of have a deadline, but it also gives me a chance to kind of revamp the project and not get so sick of things. You know, if something's just not working for me, I can take a break, move on to something different for a while. So very excited to kick off and get some new new goals going. So I'm going to start with hair care. I just have one hair care item and then we're going to go into skincare and then wrap up with body care. Okay, so the only hair care product I have for this quarter is my Olaplex number three. I have really enjoyed getting into kind of a habit and a routine with this product. So my goal is going to be to use this eight times in the next quarter just to kind of keep on a regular cadence with it. I do plan to get my hair cut in May. Um, it's super, super long, um, definitely needs a good trim, and then I'll probably get some highlights put in as well just to kind of brighten it up for summertime um, because I have a lot of regrowth. I only get my hair done once a year, so um, yeah, it's it's this is my natural color, and I just want to brighten it up a little bit. So anyway, I plan to use Olaplex. I also think that after having that kind of highlighting session and all of that will be helpful to you know, keep my hair strong, so I'm going to aim for eight uses of this for um, the project. It won't, you know, finish it. Last time I used this seven times and you can see the progress between these two dots here. So I will mark again, um, you know, where I get off to with this product. But yeah, I'm going to roll this over and just kind of keep, keep the rhythm of the habit going with this one. So next for skincare, I have a cleanser that I'd like to try to finish. This is from Dermalogica, the Clear Start line. I really enjoy this product. They um, sent me this and a couple of other products, and I've really liked them all. Um, this is a acne foaming um, face wash. It has a little bit of salicylic acid in it. I really, really like this because you actually don't need a lot to kind of get that foam going and get into your pores. So um, I've had this open for a while and, you know, I use it consistently, but I want to see if I can use it up this quarter. Um, we'll see. I mean, it may not happen. That may be too lofty of a goal. This is where I'm estimating I am. It's a little difficult to see through the packaging, but I think I'm about this mark here. Um, so we'll see how I progress, but this is the cleanser I use in the evening time, um, and I think it'll be okay. So I'm going to try to finish this up. We'll see how I do. Um, I also have a couple of face masks here. So I have been doing a goal to face mask so many times a quarter. I'm going to continue with that. And I have been doing 10, but I'm gonna reduce that down to eight because I haven't been hitting 10 lately. So we're gonna readjust. But um, I wanted to mention these two masks. These are two very beautiful masks, but they're also kind of expensive. So my goal is definitely to focus in on these two. I do have like one other mask I could use um, from Bliss that I also re really enjoy. So if I feel like that's the best fit for my skin, I'll use it. But I definitely want to get some more uses out of this Espa. This is a... Um, clean and green detox mask. It's like a mud mask type thing. And then this herbivore blue tansy I really, really love. And it's a very thin consistency. So it lasts a long time, which is awesome. And it kind of like helps resurface your skin. So yeah, definitely want to make sure I'm getting more uses out of these two um, to make sure I'm using them and they're not going to go bad, you know, because I forgot about them. So face mask eight times in the quarter. Um, then I have a couple of um, other products here. This is the Ordinary Caffeine Solution 5% plus EGCG. This is what I use around my eyes in the morning. So this bottle will last me a really long time because I only use two drops. So it does come in a dropper bottle here. I use two drops on my ring finger and just kind of massage it around my eyes and that's what I use in the morning. Um, I would like to finish this up though. It is getting a little gummy, um, which tells me that, you know, it's kind of ending its life here. So it may be difficult to see because it's in this amber, you know, glass package, but the line is basically at the bottom of the label here. So we're just gonna call it that. I did put a mark on there, but it's, 
it's essentially the, the bottom of the label. So yeah, I would like to finish this up. I did just place an all to order for a couple of um, skincare replacements that I was needed and I decided to pick up a new kind of um, morning eye cream, eye serum situation. I'm gonna try a different brand to see how that goes. I may end up coming back to this one, but I do wanna finish this up because it is starting to, like I said, thicken a little bit and it's not as um, thin on my eyes, which is what I really like. I like that kind of thin moisture that it provides. So I'm gonna try to finish that up. Um, I also have, this is kind of like a trial size from Herbivore. This is the, I hear people pronounce this. How does it go? Bacuchiol? Bacuchiol. I don't know. You guys will know. It's like a retinol alternative. You know what I mean? Um, so this is a serum. It's this beautiful kind of like lavender color, which I like. Um, so I am, I would say about halfway here. I use a retinol or a retinol alternative type product um, regularly in my evening skincare routine. I do skin cycling. So this is one of the regular you know, products I use. And I would like to finish this one up. I do already have a backup. So when this is done, I'll have something else to go to. But um, this has been sitting in my drawer as a backup for a while. So I am happy I pulled it back out to kind of use it again. Um, and I would like to finish it up before I hit the expiration on it. So anyway, yeah, we're about halfway and we'll see how we do here. But the goal is to finish it. And then I have a skin cream. So this is the Tatcha, the Dewy Skin Cream. This is a um, sample that I got from Sephora. I think this was the birthday gift maybe. My birthday's in December, so I'm like one of the last people to get them. But anyway, this is full. I haven't used it yet. I am currently finishing um, my Wander Beauty moisturizer that was in my Q1 project. I have like maybe three more nights left in it. And then this is going to become my evening um, cream that I'll use. So it smells good and it's got kind of, yeah, a lavender lilac color. Um, so we'll see, but I would like to finish this up. You know, I know that people love Tatcha. I really haven't tried very many of their products. I have a cleanser from them as well that came with this that I haven't tried yet either. So, you know, we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm kind of basic with moisturizers though. Like I don't feel like I need to spend a lot of money on a nighttime moisturizer. So this will be a fun treat to use, but I don't think it's gonna like convert me into buying a full size. We'll see. But yeah, I would like to finish this up. And that's it for skincare. So let's move into body care. I have a couple of different lotions and creams to talk through. Okay, so the big one I have here is the Jurgens Natural Glow um, Gradual Tanner. So I've had this for a little bit. Um, I like the gradual tanner for about this time of the year, late March, early April. Um, sorry, my hair doesn't know what it's trying to do there. I am super fair and pale after a long, long winter where I live. And um, we will be getting some springtime weather where you start to wear you know, instead of like full on boots, maybe like a sneaker where your ankle shows or like short sleeve shirts or at least like kind of rolled up. So I would like to use this. We're also traveling a couple of times and I'll be wearing like a dress for an event that we're going to. So I would like to have just a hint of color. I'm not really big on like the full like spray tans or like the mousse fake tans, but this I can manage. So my goal is going to be to use this six times. Um, I probably won't have much progress. This is where I'm at currently, this line right here. But I would like to use it six times just so I don't totally blind people. But I also think... Um, I don't know, just having a hint of color makes it a little bit easier for my makeup to blend. And just, I don't know, it makes me feel a little bit better about myself. So I am going to try to use this six times. Um, this is the medium to deep version, which realistically I should not have, but it's what I have and I wanna finish this before I would purchase something else. And in the future, I will get the you know light to medium color. This is just what we have. So. I, yeah, six times is my goal. We'll see how it goes. Um, typically, I like put this on just once. It's not like I actually use it three or four days in a row. Just like one to two coats is plenty color for me. So um, yeah, that's going to be the goal here. And then I have two hand creams. So the first one here is one that I swiped from a hotel. So this is um, Bagdali, Bagdali, Bag, Bag, Bagdali Mishka. I probably am not saying that right. But anyway, this is um, a body lotion from that brand. 
Um, I stayed at the Dunaway in Portland when I was there for work in January, and I always like to swipe the body lotions because they're excellent sizes for hand creams. This one's not my favorite. It's pretty watery, to be honest, um, and it's been in my bag, and I'll use it here and there, but I'm not, like, excited about it. Um, I would say I have about half remaining. I did make a mark here kind of on this window that we can, um, you know, keep track of and all that. But yeah, I just want to finish this up. It's not my favorite. Honestly, I may just like leave it out and use it on my whole body one night before bed and like maybe in two days, three days, this will be gone, something like that. Because I'm just, yeah, it's really watery. So when I do try to use it as a hand cream, I feel like I'm rubbing it in forever and I kind of have to do this just to help it evaporate. So not my favorite, um, you know, formula, but I'll use it because I have it, of course. My favorite formula, though, um, something I really enjoy is the Beloved hand cream. It's from Love Beauty Planet. This is awesome. I don't typically buy hand, like, specific creams very often, but um, when they're on sale, I'll pick up a couple. They're also nice to just kind of throw in, like, little gifts to people. So I like to have these on hand. This is the Watermelon and Mint Mojito love the scent. I also like the vanilla one if I don't want something fruity, but um, I would also like to use this one up because I did just, you know, purchase a couple when they were on sale. I am also about halfway right here, um, so we'll, you know, work to finish this one up. This one I do like to keep in my um, bag and I won't use all over my body because I, I like the consistency of it. I like the scent of it. Um, it works really well for me. So this one I'm not trying to really rush through using, but I would like to finish it up just because, you know, I have it, I should use it. And it'll also encourage me to keep moisturizing my hands and my darn cuticles as winter slowly tapers down, I still will need the moisture. So anyway, yeah, going to work on these two hand creams, finishing both of these up. Speaking of cuticles, I'm rolling over my cuticle cream from Q1, or my cuticle oil, excuse me. This is the Sally Hansen Good, whatever, Good Kind Pure, Vegan Island Coconut Cuticle Cream, or Cuticle Oil. Why am I, I was talking about creams, oils now. So um, I had a lofty goal to use this like down to the label, and then I realized that was unrealistic. Um, I do keep this at my desk, and I try to apply it once a day when I'm working, sometimes twice a day if I'm feeling like extra bougie. But um, that's been a nice routine for me. So to keep encouraging that, I'm going to set a usage goal for myself of 20 uses. I don't know that we'll really be able to see much difference. And because it's an oil, anytime I add Sharpie, it kind of like rubs off. So I'm probably not going to mark this at all. We'll just kind of, you know, look at it and see how it looks. But um, yeah, I think 20 uses would be good. I think it's pretty attainable and um, will just help keep my cuticles good. I mean, they're still kind of rough, but I'm not getting hangnails that then snag and then I pick at them and then I'm bleeding and like I'm not in that cycle anymore. And I do think that this has helped quite a bit. So I'm going to keep um, trying to stay in a habit with this and uh, yeah, put it right here on my desk so I don't lose it because before I had it on my bedside table and my cat knocked it off. And then I forgot about it for like six weeks. So definitely, definitely can do better than that. Okay, last two products I have. One is for the shower. It's a little sticky because I just used it and it's still drying. But this is a Tree Hut scrub. It's the watermelon one. I really, really like the Tree Hut scrubs. Um, they just are nice. I don't use them every shower. I probably use them currently like maybe once a month. But again, because we're going into the spring, into the beginning of kind of that season's changing, um, I start to wear like capris a little bit more. And I'll start shaving my legs a little bit more. Um, and this just helps me feel really soft and smooth and all of that. So I would say I have maybe a third left in here. I mean, there's not that much. Um, so my goal is going to be to finish this up, not because I dislike it, but just to kind of encourage me to use it. I'll probably use this, um, you know, before I use that Jergens tanner just to make sure everything's smooth. Um, but yeah, I really like it. It smells so good. It's like watermelon Jolly Ranchers. It's phenomenal. Um, so this is the only one I have. So when I'm done with it, I'm sure I'll repurchase a different scent or something like that. But I would kind of want to get back into my scrub routine. And I think putting this in project will help me, you know, achieve that. Okay, my fingers are a little bit sticky. Last item is a body mist. I haven't put a body mist in for a while. So I bought a three pack of Pacifica body mist a while back. I think it was maybe like 
November when I bought them, something like that, like in the winter time. And I really like them because every day when I get up and, you know, I do my skincare routine, I get dressed, I do all those kind of like morning things. I have really enjoyed kind of just putting a couple mists of a body spray on. I have some perfumes that I really enjoy, but I kind of like to savor those for when I like leave the house. Um, and so just having a little pick me up in the morning or like sometimes after a shower, I'll put this on or even like when I put my PJs on, if it's early in the evening, I'll put a couple spritz on. So I thought it would be fun to just kind of track this. So this is the Tahitian Gardenia. It is a beautiful Gardenia scent. Definitely a spring scent to me kind of has like a grassiness to it as well. Um, so I don't have a usage goal. I just want to use this as much as I can. I have marked it. So I'm pretty much up here at the top right here. Um, so I'm just curious to see how much I can use in the quarter. It's definitely not a race. Uh, it's a two ounce bottle. So I know I'm not going to finish this in a quarter, but I think it'll be nice and just kind of adding that into my routine regularly will be really, really great. So that's going to be the last item I bring in. And again, just kind of seeing how much I use. But that is it for my project to use it up Q2 intro. These are all the products I'm going to be using. I would love to hear from you if you're going to join me along in this use it up, um, you know, kind of space. I know some people do these monthly and um, it's kind of a rolling thing. So however works best for you, but I would love to connect with you in the comment section. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.